Earthquakes are unpredictable, but scientists can estimate how much the ground might shake based on what's going on underneath our feet. Let's take these two examples. Jen here lives on bedrock, and James lives in a large basin where loose dirt and sediment have collected over millions of years. If an earthquake hits, James' home, which sits on unconsolidated or loose sediment, will shake more than the solid rock Jen's house sits on. This also means James will have more damage to his home and neighborhood. The damage and amount of shaking caused by an earthquake can be measured using the Mercalli Intensity Scale. The Mercalli Intensity Scale is subjective and describes the amount of shaking and effects earthquakes have on humans and structures. It has levels from 1 to 10. The scale was developed by Giuseppe Mercalli, a Roman priest and professor of natural sciences around 1900. Scientists still use it to show which areas will see more damage and shaking during an earthquake. It can also be used to help people understand their risks and prepare. It's different from the Richter magnitude scale that also ranges from 1 to 10 and describes how much energy an earthquake releases. Instead, the Mercalli intensity scale describes the effects of earthquakes on humans and property. As magnitude increases, intensity does too, but it's not uniform. It all comes back to what's beneath our feet. Depending on what the subsurface is made of, shaking during an earthquake will be felt differently. Next are some descriptions of the types of damage and shaking at different Mercalli intensities. Level 1. Hardly anyone will feel level 1 shaking. Most people won't even notice an earthquake has happened. Level 2 and 3. Only a few people will notice weak shaking as it will feel, feel similar to a big truck passing by on a busy street. Level 4. Light shaking will wake people up who are sleeping. It will make doors and windows rattle. Level 5. Moderate shaking will cause trees to sway, cups and dishes to shift and break, and doors to swing back and forth. Level 6. Strong shaking will make it hard to walk. Objects will fall off shelves and windows may crack. Level 7. Very strong shaking will cause serious damage in old brick buildings. Plaster and brick chimneys might fall. Drivers will notice the shaking and stop their cars. Level 8. Severe shaking will cause heavy furniture to fall over, homes to shift on their foundations, and cracks to form in the ground. Level 9. Violent shaking will lead to landslides, breaking pipes, and badly damaged homes. Level 10 will cause extreme shaking and widespread destruction. Some bridges will collapse and railways will bend. Power and other utilities will be badly damaged and non-functioning. Each level of the Mercalli Intensity Scale builds on itself and can help us understand what level of shaking might be felt and the types of damage we might see in different areas. Remember, earthquakes are unpredictable but scientists have good estimates of which types of earthquakes might happen near you and how much shaking you could see. Check out local resources, learn your risk, make a kit, and get prepared. Thanks for listening.